Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at our Yakima Exosystem Kit which is designed for opening up a kitchen out in the campground. So you're going to have your open range kitchen as well as the Gear Warrior. We'll see how it all fits on the 2015 Toyota 4Runner. So the Yakima Exosystem is a modular system, which means you can mix and match different accessories. You can move this up and down as well. And with that, your 4Runner has a hitch that's a bit higher up off the ground compared to some other vehicles. Awesome because you have a great weight capacity as well as you don't have to worry about ground clearance issues. The downside though is let's say you have the kitchen on the top shelf like what we have here. You are going to have to pick up maybe some blocks or a something to add some height because the tables will be off balance unless you do so. So something to consider. But other things like weight capacity as well as how close it gets to the vehicle is awesome. Let's take a look. There's plenty of clearance here in the back, meaning you don't have to worry about this accidentally hitting your hatch. Now with where it sits though, you are going to have to be conscious that your rear window will have some of its visibility reduced. So see where the box is that covers up most of your rear window. With the box off though, that will be completely visible. So something to remember. Now another thing here is that with it fitting into your 2 inch shank, you do have a lot of tongue weight capacity on your 4Runner, you're good to go. The length this will add to the back of your vehicle, we're going to measure from the bumper to the swing base knobs. That's going to be 35 inches. Now hitch pin hold to the end is 35 and a half. So you're pretty close there. As for your roof height, if you have, let's say, ladders or a kayak on your roof, you can see that from the top of the roof to the top of the carrier, there's a lot of clearance. So we have about 10 inches of clearance there, not including the height added by a roof rack. Here's what it looks like all set up. We have our wooden table with the wash basin, which you can switch out for a cutting board. You have our dishware as well as this is where you can put your ingredients and your food, more food prep station there. And then with the metal table, you can put your included stove on top. This is a two burner stove. The gas is not included, so you're going to have to attach that right over here. And then we have our other fun accessories like our lantern pole, which you can move around the entire system as well as the baseboard organizer up top for your utensils. There's a lot of security features with this whole system and there's a lot of lock cores. So for your open range, that's one, two, and then three, four for your top shelf, five, six for your swing base arms, seven, eight are going to be the locks on the ends of your pin for your top shelf as well as your anti-rattle bolt chances are low of them being all keyed alike. So in that case, I do recommend picking up an extra bag of lock course if you want to have everything match. Also, that's something worth considering if you want to use this with other accessories and have those keyed alike as well. It's something you have to plan ahead for. Switching out the accessories is very simple with the exosystem. You just move your pins over to the rotate position and that means you can turn your knobs these are locking knobs, so make sure they're unlocked. Once they tighten down again, you then grab your accessory. With the basket, I do recommend having someone help you out, especially when it's fully loaded. We just take them off the cleats and take it away. Cool fun fact about the basket is if it's on its own on the swing base, you have a lot more weight capacity of about 250 pounds plus very versatile you can even put it in backwards or whichever way makes it easier for you to access to access the cargo behind the exosystem you have your wiring and this is a four-way connector now this is to be used if you have the not included lit kit which adds tail lights to the end as well as moves your license plate further out so it's more visible and then over here you can see how the two inch shank fits into your two inch hitch receiver. You have your anti-rattle bolt and a lock on the end. Be careful as you're tightening down the system since it's off balance, you're gonna have to support one side so you don't strip the threads as you tighten it down. Now, if you wanna utilize the swing base for its swing away feature, you start with this knob. So you got this large knob here to loosen. 
Once that's fully loose, you then pull the smaller one and then use the support triangle to push this out 90 degrees and it catches in the corner. With the exosystem swung out like this, some things to know is that, yes, it's awesome that you now have all this extra space for opening up your hatch, opening up your doors. You can now hang out here, set up your campsite, things like that. If you have it out like this for an extended period of time though, please use the jack stand because it is a very heavy system. And while you can access your gear warrior in this position, since it is an open carrier, if you want to, you can actually swing this entire top shelf out to give you more space. You are gonna have to close your doors or close your hatch before you do so. Loosen this knob and then take out this pin and then you can swing this top shelf a full 180 degrees. So notice that this will block some of your backup camera. It's not as much of a blocking as the gear locker would, so you can still kind of see behind you if there's a person or a vehicle, but definitely something to keep in mind. So my personal thoughts about how the kitchen kit with the Yakima Exosystem and how it fits on the Forerunner is I really like the weight capacity of the Forerunner. It is more than enough and very capable of carrying how heavy this whole thing gets. On a downside though, it is on the taller side. So if you want to use the open range while it's on the top shelf, you are gonna have to level it out and it might be sitting a little bit higher up. So if you're cooking or cleaning or doing food prep and you're my height, not as good of an experience compared to if you were taller or fine with that. So the solution for that would just to be to get the optional leg kit, then you can take the open range off and put it at the height that you want it to be. Now with this all kitted together though, I like how accessible the Gear Warrior is. You can grab your things, food prep up here, put things back down, things like that. So hopefully this video helped you out with those measurements as well as seeing what you might need to add on to your system to make it the right fit for you. As for the Forerunner, I think it's a great fit.